Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to do a little bit of microphone repair. This is the microphone that I usually use on my Grant. The problem is the switch has gone bad in it. The, uh, the push to talk switch. It will transmit fine. The problem is that radio needs the microphone to complete the circuit for receive. And that, I just can't get this switch to to act correctly. What happens is I let go of the button and receive doesn't come back. I have to fiddle with the button a little bit and pull it and tug it and wiggle it and finally the receive will come back. I have cleaned the switch out in this thing about three times. It, it helps for a day or two and then it goes right back to malfunctioning again. Well I recently picked up, I don't know if you remember the lot of $20 marketplace radios there was a Cobra 25 in there and this was connected to it. The problem with this one, well first the, the plug has been uh, slightly modified. Can you see that? They shaved the end of it for some reason. Uh, it's also missing the screw. Was it missing the screw? Can't see that. Yeah, it's missing the screw and it's all loose. But the biggest issue with it is corrosion that's built up inside of it. So I'm going to pull this one apart and see if the switch will work in this one. Because this microphone is in better shape, cord and all. And this one does not have any corrosion inside of it, where this one has a lot. You can even see it on that screw. So we're going to take the switch out of this one and install it into this one. Alright, let me get to uh, opening these up. We'll take apart the corroded one first, the parts microphone. Let's get that back cover off of it first with its corroded screw. And you can see, see all the corrosion right there. And hooey! Look at that plate. Can you see that? It's just nasty. Uh, hopefully, it's not all inside the microphone. We're about to find out. Let me switch the tip on my screwdriver for a Phillips head. Well, let's get this microphone opened up. Just three Phillips head screws that hold the back of it on. Oh, I didn't undo that one enough. That one might be. Yeah, that one is enough. Hey, look at that. The push button thing already came out of our way. We'll get that right aside. Well, it looks a little dirty in there, but the switch looks pretty good. These are nice and simple. The cover, you see those four little prongs right there? They just push against the, the back of the switch. Actually, we can see four little marks on that switch. And the switch just lifts right out of there. So now all we have to do is unsolder all of these wires and unsolder those three wires. And we'll have our replacement switch. I picked up some cleaner yesterday at the auto parts store. I'm going to clean this switch first after I get it out of here. After it's unsoldered, I will clean that out. And we'll get it ready to install into the good microphone. I hate to take apart one of these mics, but that one's not working anyway, and this one <laughs> needs to have some parts replaced. That that plate is, that's just junk. All right, so let's get that switch out of here and we'll get it installed in the other one. I right, hope that was within frame. <laughs> I just removed all the wires. That kind of concerns me a little bit. See how that board is blackened a little? 
All right, well, let's get this this microphone out of the way and get a piece of cardboard and we'll spray clean this switch. All right, time to open up the good microphone. Actually, I don't need to take that battery cover off, do I? It can stay right where it is because I know I don't have a battery in there right now. So we'll just leave it be. It felt like it was all the way done, but I guess it wasn't. I you feel it start hopping a little. It's unscrewed all the way. And and listen. Can I do that? Hear that? As we turn it and the screw falls back into the threads. Alright. Let's get that one opened up. And again, let's get the button out of our way. And pull that switch right out of there. Oh. This one wants to pull the whole plate. There we go. All right, remember where those wires go, okay? <laughs> we got red, black, and yellow. Let's get... Look at that nasty soldering tip. Who we is that ugly. <laughs> Good thing we're not doing any board work, huh? All right, what colors did I say those were? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I know what they are. Oh, this is a crazy one. We got two red wires and two black wires. Well, let's do it side at a time. So we're going to get this so that I can put that other switch in. And I'm just going to go back for a second because I already forgot the order of those wires. Good thing for the camera, huh? Oh, my old eyes are having trouble seeing here, and the camera for you guys is right in my way. You want to go red, black, and yellow, and that soldering iron is going to be way too hot by the time I get that there. Yeah, I know I should be using new solder, but... Hey, it is what it is. You guys can pick on me all you like down in the comments. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. I gotta get around you guys. Oh, you know what I need? I need a set of helping hands here. Oh, that's messy messy but is it strong enough oh it's strong enough we're gonna leave it be where'd that yellow wire go it's kind of hanging way down there go on get up here there you go can we do this without hitting any of the other ones wait for that soldering iron to get hot enough I really need to clean that thing. That's barely holding on. There we go. Let's give it a little tug test. Oh, we're good. All right. Now, let's take this side. And you know what I did? I just realized I didn't clean that switch yet. And I got you guys out of shot again. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I put this camera in a little different location so that I can see and you can see. Maybe that'll work better for us. All right, which is the new one? Which is the old one? <laughs> All right, let's get this other side undone. I'll glance at that camera now and then. We have black, blue, red. Remember that. This time, remember, so I don't have to keep going back and forth in the video. You got that? 
black, blue, and red. We're going from the switch end. Let's mix things up. Let's start with the red. If I can grab hold of it. Maybe. Oh, you can't even see that. You can't see me fumbling around for that wire. Because I got the soldering gun right in your way. I don't know how good this video is going to come out. This isn't an easy thing to do. To video and to do the work. And that wire is just being stubborn. You see that? <laughs> it keeps trying to twist itself right out of my hand. And now the blue one is next. Can you see? Yeah, you can see, can't you? Oh, pulled it off too soon. Melted that solder, but didn't give it a chance to cool. We're definitely going to have to do the tug test on that one. Because that didn't look too good. Ooh, that soldering iron is getting red hot. Holding that switch a little too long. Ooh, that was close to my finger. Alright, let's give it the tug test. We'll start on the first one. The red is good, the blue is good, and the black is good. Let's lay that thing right down. Actually, you know what? We're going to clean it first. I'm not going to forget that again. Because <laughs> it's not going to work too well. Because it's got many years of... Oh, we're going to say smoke, coffee, mist, all kinds of crap in there. Let me pause this for a second and go find a piece of cardboard. Well, I couldn't just find a flat piece of cardboard, but this box will work just fine. These are nice because they open on the ends. Hopefully I don't get this all over the lens of the camera. It's got a quick trigger on it. You just press that trigger a little bit and it comes flying out of the can. Now we're going to work that switch back and forth a little. Oh, it's getting smoother already. I want to flip it over and actually, you know what? There's plenty of cleaner in there. <laughs> that switch doesn't feel much better than the other one. <laughs> Hopefully, it works better. Oh, there we go. It's actually going nice and smooth now. It was all notchy and uh, getting a little stuck, but it seems to be cleaning out and working pretty well. While I'm pressing that button, it slides, there's connections on that button inside, and it slides across the contact points, and it moves, it has, uh, the connection will connect when it's out like this, it connects that wire and that wire, the, the blue and the black will get connected together, and same thing on this side, the red and the black will get connected together. When you push the button, that blue and yellow get connected together, and the uh, blue and red get connected together. So as you slide it across, it cleans the contacts on both, on the part that's on the button and the part that's on those. All right, I think that's ready to go in there. And that should be dry by the time we get this microphone all put back together. The cleaner dries really quickly. All right, we get that out of the way. Let's get the button put back in. Can you still see? Yeah, you can still see. A button is in there. Let's carefully put that on. Maybe. There we go. I just had to line up with a pin for the button. Oh, that feels good. That feels really good. All right, let's get this box out of the way. It now has a, looks like a P spot on the box. Let's put some screws back in here. So once I have these screws on, I'll take that battery cover off and we'll put the my homemade 7 volt battery in here. 
I don't know if you guys have a source for finding 7 volt batteries. I used to buy them from Walmart, but Walmart has been saying out of stock. So I had to buy a bunch of coin cell batteries. I bought a bunch of Duracell coin cell batteries. I don't remember the part number on them. I'll tell you that in a second. And I just wrap a, a bit of tape around it and hold them together. Let's get that cover off and I'll show you two inside of this one. Let's see, look at that. Oh, that one's nice and clean. Oh, let me reach around you and get <laughs> my 7 volt battery I just wrap electrical tape tightly around the coin cells and like I promised this is a 303-357 Duracell and we want first we want to get that string so that it goes under there and not at the connections and we'll put that battery right in Put our plate back on there. These can be tough to put that battery cover back on because that screw does not want to come out very far and it tries to go at an angle. And don't over tighten these as you can see. Where is it? Yeah, this one has cracks right there and there from somebody in the past over tightened it these do not have a positive stop they'll just keep on tightening until they rip the plastic right off of that cover I probably will end up switching the cover with that other microphone after I clean it but that we can do later all right let's go over to the grant let's get that cleaner out of the way we have received right now I have a, a realistic mic on there let's get that off of there uh oh oh when why don't we have anything oh boy nothing something ain't right <laughs> what happened That don't matter any. It's not receiving or transmitting. Are we shorting something out inside? I guess we're opening it back up. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Well, it turns out this switch is no good either. If I wiggled it quite a bit... I would get a little bit of receive now and then, but nothing I do will make it transmit. So I guess I'm going to open this switch up and see what's going on inside of it. Because this one's completely dead anyway. There's got to be something broken inside of the switch. So let's open it up and see what's going on inside of it. Alright, I already unsoldered it and removed the switch. Let's get these tabs lifted a little bit. And we'll take the small needle nose pliers and straighten them out the rest of the way. So let's just get them lifted a little so that we can actually, you know what? That actually works pretty good. Sticking the point right under there. Who needs the pliers? Well, that one might. <laughs> let's see if these can actually bend that. That's some tough metal. These tabs don't want to bend out. We also don't want this thing to just spring apart and send everything flying. Almost. A little bit more. There we go. Now, let's take that off. Oh, boy. Wow, can you see that? Let me get a flashlight on that. Maybe it'll help. Maybe it'll make matters worse. Uh, it's gonna make matters worse. No wonder why it didn't work. Look at all the corrosion on there. Hoo wee! <laughs> what was this thing under salt water? 
You can see that? That part all looks kind of burnt, doesn't it? But you see, these are the two things that these slide with the switch across the contacts. Wow. I think we're going to open up the other one, see if we can fix the original switch. Because this one doesn't look like it has much hope. All right, let me pause this again. Well, can we see that? Let me put the sandpaper behind it so the camera will focus. I have that pretty well cleaned off. I'm going to use the spray and a nylon brush now. I was using a, uh, a brass brush to <laughs> scratch all of that corrosion off of there. Now, that's so tiny the camera won't even focus on it. I got the little connection and I'm forcing it open there. Uh, I'm going to run the sandpaper through that and see if we can get that thing cleaned out. If I can get it. There we go. Maybe I ought to just do it by hand, huh? Because, wow, was that switch nasty inside. Hoo-hoo-wee. <laughs> Again, once I get it all, all the corrosion sanded off, I'll use the cleaner and the, the nylon bristle brush. brush. I, have that. I couldn't find an old toothbrush. My wife must have thrown them all away. I usually try to save all the old toothbrushes just for jobs like this. Oh, look at the line of gook it's leaving on the sandpaper. Now, I know the outside does not make any connections, but I want to get all that corrosion off of there so it does not spread. Because we don't want to have to go through this again. Come on, flip over. There you go. These things are tiny. There's one. <laughs> Let's do the other. Hey, can we see inside of that? Can you see how green that is inside of that thing? Oh, that's nasty. That poor microphone. Ooh. Boy, that went through some abuse. I am going to just clean this one, put it back together. But before I solder it in, I'm going to take the original switch apart. And see what was going on inside of that one. Maybe it's actually in better shape and something is just goofy inside of it. Because the original switch never had a problem with transmit. It was only on the receive. Let's flip that over. And get the other side. It's kind of rounded, so I'm, I'm forcing it to bend the sandpaper so that the sandpaper gets around all of that, all of the metal on there. All right, let's do the flat side a little bit. All right, now I need to clean <laughs> all the stuff that they brass brush left behind. So we'll give this a little clean. I'm going to do this up and down so I don't send the cleaner and the goop all over my keyboard that's just ahead of me here. There was still a little bit left on those connections. So I'm going to work it for a little bit with this brush. Ooh, they're getting nice and shiny though. <laughs> so what I was saying earlier, you see there's the space in between the connections that the wires solder to. And when you press the button on the microphone, it slides these over, connects those two, 
and then connects those two. All right, let's see if we can get this thing to go back together. I have the spring already in there. Let me see it. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. I got to keep looking over at that camera to make sure you guys can see. I'm going to line up those little connections with the holes in that push button. And that push button is out a little. There we go. Nope, I don't want those needle nose. I don't want to bend those. I want this pair to fold my tabs back over. I'm putting pressure on it, squeezing this together as I put the tabs in. This one's being stubborn. There it goes. Make sure we got those down enough. We are golden. And the oh, wow. <laughs> that moves nice and smooth now. All right, before we install that, though, let's take apart the other one. And let's see what went wrong inside of this switch. Which pair of needle nose will work better? Oh, this one by far. You gotta be careful because you don't want to just break those off. I give them a little bit of a bend and then uh, a quick looky see. And they're far enough where that plate can clear them. All right, there we go. Well, wow, that one actually looks pretty good inside, doesn't it? And I think. We can see the reason why we we're having trouble with this one. Oh yeah. Like we got goop that's built up that the cleaner just would not remove. See it on the inside of that tab there. Maybe something small for you to point. Inside of that one has got black marks all over it. That's got black marks. That has black marks. I think we're going to do a better cleaning on this one and end up using this switch because this is in better shape than that one. Well, well <laughs> it was a learning experience, wasn't it? But at least this one will work now. That one, if I took a uh, an ohm meter to it, I'd be able to show. Actually, I probably will. I'll show you that that switch will work now. But we're going to clean this one up. Let me slide off those little connections. Those things are so delicate. Oh, that one's actually really nice, too. They're, they're in the shape that they're supposed to be in. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to pause you for a bit. I'm going to take the brass brush to this, clean it off, and then we'll get back at it. Well, look at that. Nice and clean now. <laughs> so much work. I was trying to do this the easy way and just change out the switch. Uh, yeah, that'll learn me, won't it? <laughs> I'm going to put that one back together. I won't torture you with uh, making you watch me put that one back together. Once I get it all together and ready I'll bring you back all right let's check it and see if it's actually making connection Ooh, not easy to touch those two points without the switch moving around 
I see the meter going crazy over there, so we're making we're making connection. Yes, we are. All right, that's the original switch. Let's just check, just for giggles. Let's check the one out of the parts mic. Yep, we got. <laughs> if I can get it to touch those points here, yeah. you can see on the meter. Let's try the other side of it. I remember when we first put this switch in, we had nothing, no receive or transmit. Yeah, there we go. It would have both now. If I had a third hand, I would check the transmit part. The transmit part is when it's pushed in. Oh, let's see if we can do this. Can we? <laughs> Oh, look at that. I can. You really can't see that very well, but... Oh, yeah. All right, that was the, the switch out of the parts mic. Let's see if we can do the same with the switch from... The original switch from the microphone. This is turning out to be the longest microphone repair video ever. Oh, yeah. We have receive and transmit, and this switch is in much better shape, so I'm going to put the original one back in it. But now the parts microphone will have a good working switch. I'm going to spray that down with WD-40 just to uh, give it a nice oily coating because I'm not going to be using it, just so that uh, no corrosion builds up again. <laughs> All right, let's put that one aside. Let's get that meter out of here. And oh, let's start putting that microphone back together. Longest microphone repair ever. <laughs> it's all the switches back in. The wires are all soldered on. <laughs> <clears throat> one of them gave me some trouble. Because of course, one of the wires came undone from the board. All right, let's get this thing put back together, hopefully for the final time. it again shall we place your bets is it gonna work or isn't it let's get that microphone we have received let's go down to a channel nobody's on we have transmit Look at that. Receive comes back every time now. See the needle on the radio moving with noise. And if I turn it all the way up, it'll pick up my voice. That radio is seriously overmodulated right now, but you can see the needle on the meter moving. And you can see the, the light changing and we hear the receive come back. That was the biggest issue. There was no receive coming back. Somebody on AM? Let's have a little bit of South America on AM. Oh, nice. The receive comes back every time. It was a success. Turn that thing way down. Just on this radio, the ra this radio has been clipped, so you can't run a power mic too loud or it will get overmodulated. 
all that work. I thought I was taking the easy way out and just switching the switch. <laughs> like I said earlier, that'll learn me. <laughs> all right, guys. I thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.